Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Macrium Reflect to clone SSD to another SSD in 2024. So we're delving into the process of using Macrium Reflect, which is a trusted disk imaging and cloning tool to clone your SSD, which is the solid state drive, to another SSD. So whether you're upgrading your drives uh, or creating a backup for your SSD, stick around as I guide you through the steps of using it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and install the Macrium Reflex on your PC if you don't have downloaded already. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and type macrium.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into their home screen or main screen right away. Of course, if you want to see all the products, you can find this here. If you have an account, go here and click on login to login into your account. If you already like have a one-time plan, you buy it. I don't know. Maybe you bought it already two years ago, whatever it is. Just go and log into your account so you can have access to it, uh, to your account. And of course, if you don't have an account, you can click here and get started for home. If you want to use it for personal or home use, you will have a maximum four computers. And you can click in here to click on get started for business use if you are going to use it on business. If you don't know nothing about it, you can scroll down, read some information here. As an example, see what people are saying about it. To just have a general idea about it. Now, just go and click for me. I'll just go and click on start, uh, get started home. For you, can go with business, whatever suits you. And of course, you can start, click on download 30 days free trial or trial. Of course, I'll just give you an idea on what the price and the features. So you can pause the video and read all the features that you want with the price. So this is for annual plan, this is for one time purchase for one computer and four computers. As we said, this is the maximum for home use or personal use and yeah so it will be something like that and as you can see they have the plans in here and yeah that's it so now i'll just go and click on download the 30 days free trial of course you'll have to choose do you want 64 bits or 32 depending on your pc if you don't know what's uh what which one do you have simply just go and click on windows i on your pc then go to this left panel and click on system of course, the Windows, I will open settings. If you want to open settings manual way, just go and click in here, or I don't know how you open settings manually, or just type here, settings, yeah, whatever you open it with. For me, I open it with Windows I. And then go here, scroll down. Once you click on system here on this left panel, scroll down to the bottom of that and click on about. Once you click on about there, just go to this device specification. And as you can see, you'll find the system type in here. For me, I have 64 bits operating system. If you have 32, just select 32. If you have 64, choose 64. Now, as you can see, I'm already logged in. But for you, find yourself on a place like this. Make sure to log in at your account if you have an account. And if you don't, click on register instead and fill up those informations like first name, last name, email, password, and confirm that password. Make sure your password contains all of that. And click on yes if you want to receive their notifications, email notifications, news, uh, whatever it is. And click on no if you don't want to receive it. Then click on sign up with Google if you don't want to fill all those informations manually or with Microsoft. If you have Google or Microsoft's account, this will prevent you from doing all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account if you want to. If you want to fill everything manually, fill it and click on register and you'll be good to go. For me, I'll just go and log in and log in with my account. And yeah, I'll just go and choose this. My account and I'll be, I should be logged in into my account right away. It's, yeah, so I'll be here again. As you can see, I'll be able to access all their products. You can try them out for a period of time. Then you'll have, of course, to buy. And here, of course, the download will start after a little bit. Once you download it, you'll find it's like this. Click on it to start installing it in your PC. Just follow the prompt or the on-screen instructions to, follow, to install it. And once it's installed, you will have to go and open it up on your PC. 
So as you can see here in your account, you'll find how many days do you have, which computer, how many computers is downloaded on, the registration code, a trial, of course, it's just trial version. You can buy it now once your trial ends. And once their Mac Ream opens, you'll find yourself in here with something like this. So here, first of all, you will have to connect the targeted or the targets. This is the, as an example for me, I have two disks and two USBs. Let's say I want to clone this disk into or this SSD into another SSD. For me, this one is does not have sufficient like uh, space. For you, just go and connect on your PC with an like an USB uh, adapter to the, the SSD or just connect it into the system or the motherboard manually. Do whatever suits you, just connect it. Once it's connected, of course, you will have to close the Mac Room Reflex and open it again to find it in there. Or, so here's an example, of course, just refresh the page. If you don't want to close it, open it again. Of course, go to something else and go back and you'll find it's refresh, I guess. If not, just close it and open it again. You'll find your disk that you connect or SSD that you connect there. And you'll have to go and select the source SSD that you want to, of course, clone. Let's say, for example, I want to clone this or this. You can, of course, choose some specific partitions. As an example, I want to just clone this partition. This has Windows, or I want to just clone this one, or I want to close those two, or I want to clone all of it. So select whatever you want to clone, and then click on clone this disk. You will find this in your screen. Here you will have to select, of course, the source. You can change it from here as an example, and you can now go and select the destination. So as you can see, if you select a different disk, your current operation will be discarded, of course. So if I have any operation, I just I don't know what I did. Maybe it's doing something now, but I'll just click on yes because I'm not doing anything with this. So as you can see here, I'll have to select my other SSD that I want to clone the source SSD on. For me, I have just this one, so I'll just select this one. Here you can choose if you want to copy some partitions, uh, delete some, or erase the whole disk if you want to. Then click on next and the copying will start. If you click on finish, of course, the copying will finish or the cloning will finish until it's finished and you will receive a notification. You can, just an optional thing, adjust the partition size if you want to, if necessary. And then you can even review before even the cloning finish. You can review if the cloning starts by going to your file manager, as example. Uh, go to your file manager, see if your SSD starts getting like storage on it. If it is, yeah, that means it's working. And yeah, so you'll have to wait for the comp uh, cloning to it's complete. And yeah, there you have it. You successfully learned how to use Mac Rium Reflect to clone your SSD to another SSD in 2024. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.